So let's show you how I sharpen my knife. Without a sharp knife, you're not gonna be able to do that precision, that nice finesse of Japanese style slicing. What Japanese say is, the reflection of the knife represents you. If your knife is not sharp, you're not a good chef. Okay, this is a water stone. This one has a base already, so you don't have to have anything underneath so, because it won't slide. If it's sliding, get a damp towel, put it underneath. If the stone is moving, it's super dangerous. You know, every person's gonna have a different angle, a comfortable angle. The lower you get, the, the more sharp, and it's gonna stay sharp. When you're sharpening, you're not using any pressure, but you have to make sure you're not moving the angle. You have to keep it consistent. So you, you set it, you lock it, and then you use your stomach muscles and just try to go back and forth. Probably the most important part is the tip of the knife and around this area. So you wanna get this guy quite sharp. I actually changed the angle on the bottom here. Down here, I make the angle a lot higher so then I could use it for banging, like cutting shells or cutting hard vegetables. You wanna have your knife in a consistent shape. Basically what that means is whatever times you go back and forth, you have to count, you have to remember. I'll count in my head, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to 20. Same thing, If you, now I'm gonna sharpen this area, you do the same, 20. Keep it a little bit moist. I have a little bit of water on the side like this. It's not sake, it's just kinda, you know. And that's it. Final way to, to check if it's sharp. I use my thumbnail loosely, tap, pull. If it doesn't move, it's sharp. 